based on the scripting formulas. So to open the backtester, we click on the searches menu and select backtester to bring open the window. So let's um, let's say I want to do a, um, a crossover or moving averages. So uh, for the, uh, click on the new backtest and call it MA crossover. And then in the middle panel of the window, um, this is where you set up the, uh, the test. So Let's, uh, let's say we want to, instead of testing on a single code, I want mo multiple codes, and I'm going to select at the ASX top 200, which I have saved as a favorite. Or you can just click on the Exchanges tab and select it there. Date range is how long do you want to uh, go back in history to test over. So let's just say five years, based on a daily time frame. And the test rules as we go down this column um, next day open for the entries and I'm going to change um, exit trade price at the uh, close of the signal day rather than the next day open position sizing um, I'm going to do equity percentage so 5% the maximum trade I, I, I can make um, will be 5% of my holdings and I can also change the brokerage model whether it's based on a, a value or a percentage I'm going to keep it at a value and so this is basically the expenses of, of trading so I'm going to put $10 in for each trade each entry and exit will cost me $10 so 20 round trip and that will be uh, factored into the results and a couple of other options there if you mouse over the little I it gives you a, a pop-up window on, on what they mean so pyramid trades is um, multiple entries uh, before an exit is made so on and so forth and finally down the bottom we've got um, account balance so let's say I want to start off with a hundred thousand and I'm willing to to risk a hundred percent of that once we've got the, um, the setup as we like uh, we can now define our entry and exit criteria so click on the plus sign and I'm going to do um, moving average crossover so in the search box type MA cross and we've got I've got one already, my criteria, and that is where the close crosses above the 20 moving average, or we can have um, some of the default criteria that we've got listed, um, like two, let, let's select MA1 above MA2. So I'll select that and then click on the button to edit the criteria. So by default, it's a, it's a five crossing above a 25, but if we click on the MA, we can change this to whatever we want. So let's say a 20 simple based on the close crosses above a 50 based on the close. So when MA1 crosses above MA2, the uh, entry will be made. And similarly, we can have a, a crossover for the exit as well or any other uh, technical criteria. So let's say instead of a, a moving average I want to do um, say well let, let's create a new one so instead of using one I've already created let's say um, RSI uh, crosses below 25 and when I click on RSI I'm going to change it to a five period and then apply that so that's my exit rule and we can also define stops as well so you can have percentage trailing stops um, or a point stop and also profit targets either point or percent so let's I'm just going to quickly test that strategy so it's going to go over the um, last five years for the ASX top 200 and give us um, a result so in this window now I should say that this obviously is for informational purposes only this isn't a uh, recommendation for a trading system whatsoever it's just a, a, a simple um, example of how you can uh, create these uh, entry and exits in your back test so having said that here are the results not too bad 86% um, profit if we click on the report we get more details on uh, on the number of trades and um, and uh, returns so on and so forth and then on the trade list we've got individual um, exits and e entries and exits and if we click on any one of those 
it will open up a chart so that's BHP and the arrows are when the uh, the trades were made so that's just a quick overview of, uh, of how you can uh, create a uh, backtester so hopefully that will be very useful <laughs>